Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Granny. Hello. 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 Have you done your homework? Adam. For a general strike. Ready or not. Here it comes. Ireland clashes with British. Live ammunition again. Deserve to get shot. Have a nice day, Graham. Air strikes on rebel position. We are going to stay. Tapping. Go. Tonight, the Prime Minister raised the terror threat level in Britain to critical. That means another attack is considered imminent. Idag skakades också Norrköping av en explosion i en trappuppgång. Uh, och vakna av att uh, det exploderade någonstans ifrån så uh, nu har det kommit hit så tänkte jag. Tidigt i morse exploderade en sprängladdning på andra våningen här i stadsdelen Hageby. I Stockholm greps i morse en grov kriminell man i 35 års ålder misstänkt för sprängdådet på Östermalm för en dryg vecka sedan. Det är fucking Independence Day. Vi behöver en revolution för att överträda det här systemet. Bring a whole new communist world into being that can actually ensure the rights of black and brown people. In order to overthrow this system, bring a whole new communist world into being. Communist world into being. Communist world into being. That can actually ensure the rights of black and brown people. And whether or not you fucking agree, or if you still are caught up in this electoral politics bullshit, mm -hmm. even if you are, even your hopes for a more progressive or liberal agenda are not going to happen while the second president of the Confederacy is in the White House. Let's work together to tear that fucking statue down. Ooh, Revolution, nothing right. less. I also think that we actually do have an ideological frame. We uh, are trained Marxists. This could be a police cruiser, Tom, that you mentioned that is burning right now. I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, maybe there will be. Flames rip through the lower level of St. John's Church. And as you can see, uh, there's definitely a fire here. Make sure that police departments are defunded. We need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. The driver hit two officers. We have an incredible opportunity to fundamentally transform the country. The first statue that we came across was Ulysses Grant. It was toppled, it was lying in the pathway. Look what you did to my store. No! These people are tearing up our livelihood. Okay, 
So would you like to see Sharia law in Canada replace Canadian law? At some point it will. You know, because we, are, we, are, we have families, we are making babies. You're not. You're, 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 your population is going down the slump. That's right. right? And by 2060, by 2060, according to Pew Research Institute, your research, by 2060, Muslims will be the biggest religious group the world over. What are you going to do then? Actually, are you going to oppose Sharia is even then? So you do support Sharia. You do want a Muslim majority uh, nation in the West End, correct? Just like you had a Muslim, a Western majority nation in the land of Native Americans, one day we can have a Muslim majority nation here in Canada, right in your face. The Muslim community demands an end to the army's occupation of mosques. The Homeland Security Bill is ratified. After eight years, British borders will remain closed. The deportation of illegal immigrants will continue. Good morning. Our lead story. You attack those who want to control their own border policies. You attack them today as xenophobes. You attack them as extremists. But worst of all, oh, worst of all, you attack them three times for being populists. Isn't that a dreadful thing? The power of the ballot box. When people dare to vote no in referendums, they're populists. When they want to control their own borders, they are populists. I put it to you, the populists are actually Democrats. <laughs> Country's just not safe anymore. We've got to leave. Into the deep dark. No, no, the paint's getting closer. That's the hospital. Camps have been raided. Merry Christmas! Get off! 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 Get أن جميع الأرض 
لا بد أن تكون تحت حكم الإسلام. We believe Islam will dominate. It's an entire movement, and the idea of it is hatred for our way of life. On our website, we talk about the Islamic State of North America about 2050. Islam will dominate. That's what it will be. Are you starting to see a pattern here? Two planes hit the Twin Towers and they have no clue why would somebody do such a thing. The tentacles of terrorism are reaching out to every corner of the world. I think the world, despite the number of attacks, is still in denial. They don't want to believe that someone has declared war on them. America is the first to the A child isn't born hating. A child has to be taught to hate. A child has to be taught to fear. Why are you taking it down? Why are you taking it down? Woo! Everyone agrees! No, no, not, not everyone. Just oh, because I live right there. I'm sick of fucking seeing it. What? You can't even read it. You can't even see it that far. We've been here for about 20 minutes now and we don't have any updates on specifically what's happened but what we do know based on all the reports is that a car has ploughed through Westminster Bridge and crashed into the Houses of Parliament. Gunshots have been fired within the gates and three people have been confirmed dead. We've had 12 suspected terrorist attacks planned last year. If they would have been successful, you'd have seen shopping centres, you'd have seen aeroplanes, you'd have seen nightclubs, you'd have seen a war zone on our streets. Similar to this, every single month. Then, and only then, might people realise we are at war. We're in war already. We have over 3,000 Muslims who are monitored 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every week, at a cost of £9 billion a year. Yeah? We're following and waiting for them to do this. We have had 450 ISIS fighters been allowed to return to our country. You are the first Muslim mayor of our capital city, right? The reality is, well, there are 23,000 people we suspect of being jihadis like these killers, roaming around, under very little control, and I don't think people do feel safe. It's not a question of London not being resilient. We survived the Blitz and the IRA and so on. London is a tough, as are Mancunians, but this keeps happening. And I don't think it's really enough for the London mayor to just go, hey, we've never been safer. When actually, a lot of people feel like we've never felt less safe. What they want to know is how do we get these people before they commit these atrocities. Well, uh, that's one of the reasons why I've been campaigning for more police in uh, London. Fourteen killed, another 17 wounded. The deadliest shooting in US history. A driver intentionally slams into a crowd before crashing into a school bus. Eight dead and more than a dozen injured. The deadliest terror attack in New York City since 9-11. This was an act of terror aimed at innocent civilians. 400 have come back out of the 850 who've gone to Iraq or Syria to fight. 
how do we know how many... I mean, obviously, this is a UK problem. You are mayor of the capital city where the most recent terrorist attack has taken place. How many of those 400 have come back to London? Uh, the the uh, estimate is just over half. So when you where are at, they? When you look at... Well, when you look at the... No, but seriously, where are they? How are we letting people back in to the UK who've le who haven't just been trained? They've actually fought potentially against our troops. How are we letting them back in without knowing exactly where they are and what they're up to? Because out of all the thousands of people that we're concerned about, surely those who've actually gone to fight are the biggest risk. Well, that's one of the reasons why it doesn't make sense for the government to be cutting resources but from where those... where are they? You're well, the mayor of this no, hold, capital respect, city. Where hold, hold are second, they? I can't follow 400 people. What I can do is make sure why, why the policies... Can't... Because we, what we can do, though, is make sure we've got the resources for the police and the experts well, to follow those people. Why can't you instruct the police? Why can't you call Cressida Dick right now well, and say every one. one of those people has come why. back from a war zone who's in London, I want why. them followed? Let me see why. Because the Met Police budget, roughly speaking, 15% to 20% is funded by me, the Mayor. The rest comes from central government. If the Met Police budget is being shrunk and reduced, they've got to prioritise and use their resources in a sensible, savvy what way. What could be a bigger priority than people coming back from a Syrian battlefield with intent to harm British citizens? That's Why sure. is it not the number one priority? Why are these people just allowed to come back in in the first place and then the London Mayor doesn't appear to have a clue where any of them are? I mean, what? no disrespect to you, but where are they? They've gone and fought for ISIS. They've been in training camps. They've been beheading people. They've been raping people. And they're walking the streets of our capital city. They're living with us. Our government have failed us. Don't come out and act all strong on this, Home Secretary, Theresa May, because you haven't been strong. You've been weak. You've showed cowardice. That's not what Islam is all about. Islam is peace. <laughs> there are some Muslims amongst us, amongst us these days who want to go around and say, oh, Islam was never spread by the sword. That's a blatant lie. It was spread many times by the sword. The Sharia was spread by the sword. The implementation of Sharia was spread by the sword.
Muslims pretend to be nice people. Oh, but this is so jarring to Canadian ears. And so ears. the Westerns are very naive. You say, they say that they are very uh, peaceful and love people. What, the, what are you saying? Surely most, naive. Muslims are. Surely most Muslims are peaceful people. Naive. You're saying every Muslim is like that? Look, every true Muslim is like that. A moderate Muslim, contemporary polite and the moderate but when the islam prevails all of them they will become true muslims we as muslims we want the whole world to be ruled by islam and to rule by sharia that's fact we don't hide it you understand? i agree, I agree. UK, uk yeah who cares a, we don't consider it a, land, a country it's a land okay a land of allah okay that's allah's land this is allah's land allah created this land Okay, Allah created the cities, Allah created the people, you understand? So this is, this all is property of Allah, okay? We here, it can be implemented, the Sharia can be implemented in the UK. Nobody can say it's forbidden or it can never happen. That's not true, okay? Allah can make it happen, okay? And Allah can do anything, okay? So the point is, yeah, our, all our, um, we only, Allah only wants one thing from us, okay? Which is the action, okay? Right now, can we use force? Can we use um, the hand? No, we can't, you understand? Just, it's just not possible. Okay, nobody has training, nobody has weapons, nobody has... So the point is, yeah, what do we have? Is the tongue, okay? And to convey the message, right? And our da'wah has to be complete. We call to the Sharia in the UK. We call for its implementation, yes. Okay, we want people, we ask for the look, number one, become Muslim, okay? And to become Muslim, means you accept the Sharia and you want to implement it. It goes hand in hand. Because we are talking about um, um, giving da'wah, yeah, does not mean that, we, that when we have the ability to use the hand, we're not going to use it. Exactly. Use it so imagine, exactly. one second, one second. Now, 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 now we agree. Let me finish, let me finish my okay. point. Let me land, you can let, me, let me land here. Yeah? Say I give da'wah here yeah, um, for 40 years in the UK, or I, and my, my grandchildren give for 50 years, my great-grandchildren my great give it for 70 years, whatever. And we give da'wah here yeah, for hundreds of years, whatever, and say we have, we're now 20% of the population. And say we have, we're now 20% of the population. And say we have, we're now 20% of the population. And say we have, we're now 20% of the population. And say we have, we're now 20% of the population. And let's just say we own a big part of the economy. And let's just say we have weapons and we have our own sections of, of, the, of the country, yeah? And we have military training and we have weapons and we can actually fight and overthrow the system, yeah? And we have military training and we have weapons and we can actually fight and overthrow the system, yeah? And we have military training and we have weapons and we can actually fight and overthrow the system, yeah? You're saying every Muslim is like that? Look, every true Muslim is like that. A moderate Muslim, contemporary, polite, and a moderate. But when the Islam prevails, all of them, they will become true Muslims and follow that strategy. We know them because we live among them 14 centuries. We live among them and they know them very well. But the Western people did not live with them. So they just only see the peaceful way. But one day will come and they will know the truth, but it will be too late. I'm sorry to say that. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, God.
Yes. God is king, we the soldiers. Ultra beam out the solar. When I get to heaven's gates, I ain't gotta peek over. Keeping perfect composure. When I scream at the chauffeur, I ain't mean, I'm just focused. I ain't mean, I'm just focused. Put a lean out slower. Got us clean out of soda. Before the flood, people judge. They did the same thing to Noah. Everybody wanted Yandy. The Jesus Christ did the laundry. They say that we start on Monday, but the strong start on Sunday. Won't be in bondage to any man. John 8:33. We the descendants of Abraham. Yea, you should be made free. John 8:36. To whom the Son said free is free indeed. He say the rich like me. family for Alfie. He's all I've got left. 68th of May 2003. It's today happy birthday. I hope you made a wish. Um, and, and what, what are your are parents, parents names? The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Assalamu Alaikum.